Hillary Clinton responded to the terror attacks today, but also remained focused on the campaign as she fights to win over supporters who backed her former rival. Correspondent Jennifer Griffin reports tonight from New York. Making the case that she would make a better commander in chief, Hillary Clinton responded to the New York area bombing. We will defend our country and we will defeat the evil, twisted ideology of the terrorists. I'm the only candidate in this race who has been part of the hard decisions to take terrorists off the battlefield. With tightening battleground polls forcing her campaign to redouble efforts to appeal to the so-called Obama coalition, she took her message to Temple University in Philadelphia, addressing millennials who so far have not shifted their support from Bernie Sanders. So I worked with Bernie Sanders on a plan. We came up with a plan that makes public college tuition free for working families. And Clinton acknowledged millennials' doubts. I also know that even if you're totally opposed to Donald Trump, you may still have some questions about me. I get that. And I want to do my best to answer those questions. I will never be the showman my opponent is. And you know what? That's okay with me. President Obama made the case for Clinton to the Congressional Black Caucus Gala. I will consider it a personal insult, an insult to my legacy, if this community lets down its guard and fails to activate itself in this election. But Mr. Obama left some of his most searing criticism of Donald Trump to off-camera remarks during a Democratic fundraiser. He accused the billionaire businessman of having no interest in, quote, gaining the rudimentary knowledge needed to make presidential decisions, adding that Trump's campaign is, quote, an infomercial, tapping into some of our worst impulses as a country. Bill Clinton was asked why his wife can't seem to connect with voters. They're responding to the fact that this email thing was treated like the most important event since the end of World War II. And the way Donald Trump and his supporters have treated her, I wonder if there's a man in America that could have taken what she's been through in the last year and a half. Clinton, like Trump, plans to meet with the Egyptian president, El Sisi, later tonight here in Manhattan to talk about global terrorism. She will not, however, be attending the Global Clinton Initiative fundraising forum attached to the U.N. General Assembly. It's the first time she hasn't attended the event in 12 years, Brett. Jennifer Griffin, live with the Clinton campaign. Jennifer, thank